Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to talk about quill versus mop brushes. The two words quill and mop, they are used interchangeably nowadays because both brushes, the purpose is to hold a lot of water and paint over a large area. Quill, if you don't know, is actually the main feather of a bird. This quill that I'm holding, it's actually from a parrot. A quill is actually hollow, so a long time ago, brushes were made by stuffing hair into a quill and they would use strings to tie this part here to hold the hair onto the quill. I'm not sure what type of feathers were used, but it has to be a big one, something that's bigger than this because this doesn't hold a lot of hair. Nowadays, quill brushes look like this, so this is a squirrel hair quill brush and hairs are held together by this piece of plastic and these are metal wires. They hold the hair together. You are not supposed to remove the wire. You can almost see through to the hairs inside. And here's a typical mop brush. This is the Escoda Ultimo that uses synthetic hair. You can see the furrow, it's the same as those you see on a round brush. The shape of the hair here, now the hair is dry so it looks a bit floppy. And the shape of the hair, it's no different compared to that on a quill brush. So how are quill and mop brushes different from a round brush? Now these three brushes are dry so the shape of the hair, they look the same but Remember the purpose of a quill or mop is to paint over large areas. So the hair for mop and quills, they typically have a lot of hair so that they can hold a lot of water. For round brushes, they are smaller. By the way, big and small, the sizes are relative and different companies, they will use different sizes to size their brushes. So here, for example, we have a size 1 Color Pro, which is bigger compared to a size 2 Da Vinci Quill. And this is a size 10 Escoda, which is about the same size as the size 1 Color Pro. And we have a size 6 Navskaya Palitra, which is a sable brush. One thing I also notice is the fur room is usually shorter on a quill and mop versus a round brush. By the way, quill and mop brushes are also available as pocket brush formats. I know the company Rosemary, they sell them. A quill and a mop will have a bigger belly, so the hair will taper out more significantly before it tapers. This is the round brush, which is pretty tapered. You can certainly get a small mop brush that's shaped like a round to paint but even a small mop brush will hold a lot of water so when you're painting details you don't want your brush to load up so much paint and water because you don't need that much. Now if you do use a squirrel or mop brush to paint details you're going to waste a lot of paint because I mean, you don't need that much paint. When it comes to water holding capacity, there's no difference between a quill and mop because it really depends on the hair that's used. This is a Da Vinci Cassano. Quill and mop brushes are for painting large areas, so whether or not they have a point, it doesn't really matter that much. So this Da Vinci Cassano, if you really want to, you can paint a very thin line but it's very challenging. This is a round brush. This is better for painting details obviously. And here's the mop. Now this brush it doesn't hold a point as well compared to the Cassano. So this is the thinnest it can go. Mops and quills are also quite floppy, just like a real mop, so they don't keep to the shape, as in the brush, it doesn't return to the shape as easily compared to a round brush. Take this brush for example, when I lift the brush, you can see the shape of the hair is now tilted in one direction. This is the Cassano, the shape is also tilted. So when the hair is very floppy, it's kind of difficult to paint any details. So this is 
I would consider a pretty blunt too. Now this is great for painting large areas like this. You can paint gradations, color blends very easily over large areas with a mop or quill. In terms of performance, there really isn't much difference between a quill and a mop. Maybe the quill can hold a point better compared to a mop, but you don't buy a quill or mop for painting thin lines or details. Let me end this video by giving you some brush recommendations. If you are looking for a quill brush, I recommend the Da Vinci Cassano because it seems like this brush is able to hold a point much better compared to a typical squirrel brush. And if you just want to buy a simple mop or squirrel brush, you can go for the Skoda Ultimo, which uses synthetic squirrel hair. Or if you prefer real squirrel hair, there is the Skoda Aquarial. But there isn't much difference um, between the Ultimo and the Aquarial when it comes to painting. So perhaps you can just go for the synthetic Skoda Ultimo. And if you want these brushes in collapsible travel brush formats, you can check out Rosemary brushes. I'll put all the links to all these brushes in the video description below. Alright, thanks for watching this video. I hope it's helpful. See you guys in the next one. Bye!